Gunfighter Duckers. Another season is upon us. 2017 duck season. Uh, sorry I haven't been putting out very many videos. I'm on my way right now. We're going to go scout. Uh, I scouted for the first early teal season in Iowa and the temperatures were in the high 80s. Uh, right now we're in uh, drought conditions. A lot of the marshes that I typically hunt are uh, dried up or so low that my boat can't even go in. marsh we're gonna go check this out see if I can get the boat through it at all what all little hidey holes might be in there we'll see what happens let's get this boat in the water be down pretty low because I can see through the water that uh, the boat ramp only goes another three feet. All right guys I guess I'm gonna keep it real and show you this. Uh, when you first get your boat out remember to put your plug in. Uh, filled up the boat and then I had to get back up on the trailer so it would drain Real dumb, dumb move. Uh, so, remember, always put your plug in. Uh, boat only floats if it stays dry. So in this cover right here, I lit up the sky trying to get in here. And as you can see, no easy task. Now, they're still up and circling. Uh, the sun's not going to let me focus in on them, but uh, they're definitely in here. That's more than I've seen in a long time. Uh, I'm, I'm stuck. So it looks like I'm getting in. I don't know if you can see them up there in the sky or not. The sun's pretty bright. This thing was loaded with teal and big ducks. So I think somewhat of a clearing up there I'm gonna try and get to and then turn this thing around I don't know if you can see him up there the uh, thing won't focus on stuff up in the sky like that good find though I'm pretty excited now it's well worth the drive spot on the lake marsh been stuck a lot but that's duck hunting this is the dead end for me so, let's see if we can get back out of here get more out than walking around in this That's 
what happens when you walk away from the engine and you have the kill switch on. It's full of good things today. Man, here's the rig. Here's the spot. You can probably see out there, I doubt, with the GoPro. Tons of coot. There are big ducks and teal out here. Um, wood ducks, a lot of wood ducks. Cool to hear them whistle. But I want to check out one more spot. See where that takes us. If you can see these guys are all circling around and found another little hot spot they're going down just can't get anywhere and a lot of it's like this stuff right here just uh, they're just landing right in the grass there they are I don't know if that helps I can't see on the screen But we found some. All right, guys. So I'm out scouting. Uh, we hunt in Iowa, central Iowa, and we're in pretty much drought conditions. So the early teal season was kind of a bust out here. The temperatures were in the upper 80s. Uh, a lot of the small marshes that we hunt are dried up. So uh, expanded our a radius I guess and I uh, found one today that's pretty nice I like it uh, we'll try to hit this one I'm gonna go out on the river today and see what's changed over the summer uh, that's pretty low also um, so uh, a couple new things this year I wanted to get out there are uh, I just started a Facebook page and an Instagram page so that you guys can uh, submit some of your own pictures, uh, small video clips, uh, keep up with what, what's going on. We're going to try and hit it pretty hard this year. Um, it's just uh, getting out and well, every time's an adventure with us. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. So uh, today I went out on a small marsh, spent <coughs> Most of the time stuck. I'll show some clips of that. And uh, although it is pretty fun, you know, I think I cut up my feet pretty good from this. Uh, I don't even know what the what the grass is called, but uh, oh, it's sharp. I had to take my shoes off because they kept getting stuck in the muck, and uh, that hurt. But oh well. So. Stay tuned, we'll hit the river. Well, stuck again. You'll have that on these big expeditions, except for this time I know from experience that you can go one step and it'll be over your head, so not as quick run around out here on this. So, we just scared up a lot of pelicans, but uh, this section of river we're in is loaded with channels, so I uh, kind of got to map out how we want to get to where we want to go. So, haven't scared any ducks out of here yet.
mudder duckers. We've been out on the river. I told you I was going to go out on the river again today. I have Jim with me this time. Um, the river's really low. We didn't have little pools sitting in here like we used to. So Jim, what do you think our assessment is of this place? My assessment is there's only three or four good spots on the whole river. If those get, if those get taken up by you know a few other boats, we're out of luck. And unless we're hunting the 6,000 pelicans, uh, <laughs> we didn't see hardly any ducks. There's very little shallow water flooded in the vegetation. It's either deep channels or dry vegetation. So it doesn't look good right now. Yeah, we saw four ducks. Yeah. And four ducks and probably... 6,000 pelicans. Yeah. A pretty good three-mile stretch of river, I think. Uh, and it's the best populated part, typically. So. so we'll probably have to start off at the spot this morning. And it looked good. So. Uh, don't forget, now I'm on Facebook and Instagram, and both of them are uh, Mudder Ducker Adventures. So if you have pictures or comments or whatever, you can put them on Facebook. Uh, so stay tuned.